still happy? Still happy. All right, let's bring it down. This is the Pacific. We want to actually come down here. Okay, retro burn. Okay. I'm not gonna use the set mode this time. It's low Earth orbit. They better just deal with the G's. Even though I don't have the descent mode on, it seems to puff the RCS a lot. Still has the yaw. I don't have it on, right? It says turn descent mode on. Seems to have a descent mode already. I don't know why. What's offset on this? Well, anyway, the RCS can hold it. Yeah, well, now it's not easy to hold. Now, I guess we'll have to do lifting re-entry even though I don't have any intention to... I don't want to take off the RCS. I'm worried about what might happen. <laughs> We've got the batteries and docking port overheating as usual. Gotta do something about that. Alright. We've had our G-Force. Maybe those will last, actually. So only from the moon do those explode. 6.3 Gs. Okay, Aerocap Jettison. Okay, pre-deployment. Okay, splash down and uh, recover vessel. Normal recovery. Got the funds for the pod back, got all the peoples back, and really the only contract we have left is position a satellite in a specific orbit of Europa. I don't think either of the two Jupiter orbiters can do that. I'm pretty sure they can't. But we're certainly closer than we've ever been to doing that. We probably should pick up some more stuff. Tourists. Hmm. Base on the moon. That can support four Kerbals. Two years though. Hmm. But just the... Just the... Pod can carry four Kerbals. I wouldn't do that. That'd be cheating. I really wanted to do the old contracts, so I want to test those. Jupiter Orbit on Crude is actually a repeat possible. Mm, we should pick that up. Mars one is a little bit too tight. Saturn seems like we can do it too. 14 years. It takes a while to get out to Saturn though. But yeah, we should get that sort of thing. Rude Mars flyby. Maybe that's too much money for the moon base though. That's a that's a fair amount for the Mars base. But four Kerbals, maybe I should up that requirement. I want to think about that. Maybe it should be six, since the Lynx already can carry four. Two to low lunar orbit. It shouldn't be that hard with our capabilities. It barely pays for the rocket, though. Four to Leo doesn't actually pay for the big one, but we don't need the big one for that. Fourteen days. With four people. It barely carries enough food for 14 days. New space station. I have a lot of money, actually. That's pretty good. The rescues paid well. We'll see. We'll see what modules. We need more base modules. You know, base modules, we have a few options with the, the long-term habitation here. These are from USI. But maybe I can make something different. Okay, but first let me handle the Jupiter orbiters. Boy, that orbit is real imprecise. Ignition. 
Alright, boosting up to Io's orbit. Technically, we don't have to do this in order to fly by them. And in fact, the other Jupiter probe is not going to be doing this to fly by. Oop, oh, oh, uh, too much. But I think we still have the encounter. Maybe not as close as I wanted. Okay, well. Within 5,000 kilometers, fine. I'm just gonna leave it spinning. Oh, how long? 17 days? Okay, well I... I can't wait that long. <laughs> well, as long as it's recharging, it's fine. Let's get an SOI change alarm. Uh, give ourselves four hours. Okay, next one. This one has to be done more precisely because we're going to just have a glancing encounter of Callisto. And go. Well, okay, point one we'll have to do. Okay, we seem to encounter Callisto, and just as importantly, we are not crashing into Jupiter. So, this is going to get to... Okay, it's like that. Get to Callisto... After the other one gets to Io. Alright. Let's do that stuff. Back to the tracking station. Okay, IO time. No, let me just check the science here. Oh, that's 1.2. Okay, SOI of IO, where are you? There we are. Barely, barely in the SOI. I mean, the, the SOI seems to be at 6,000 kilometers. Okay. But high over the highlands. Got. And just high over IO for the other ones. It's possible that the gravity scan We'll encounter a different biome lowlands here. Oh, volcanic something or another's. Is that? Uh, uh, volcanic snows. All right. We'll have to get low over some other time. Uh, pyroclastic wastes. I really shouldn't have that stuff on. Okay. Equatorial. Well, there's Jupiter's. That's fine. Okay. Well, this we should try to get over to Europa now. I don't know if we want to do the... Well, I mean, there's a close encounter over there. Maybe that's for the best. Instead of trying to get at the periapsis. We can just do that close encounter with Europa. That's the orbit that we eventually have to put something in, but this is definitely not getting there. But that'll be in 33 days. Alright, so we'll do that maneuver when it's time. But this has already given us a lot of science. Let's go to the tracking station and then get the other one on its flyby of Callisto. We'll have so much science after all this. Okay, well... Nothing new over Jupiter. There's Callisto. Callisto's got a bigger SOI, 34,000 kilometers. Okay, Cratered Highlands. So that stuff we got. Cratered Highlands is the biome that we did it over, so we can't do that again. Cratered Midlands. Oh, they're all. It's always gonna be cratered, right? Is there a smooth part? All I've seen so far are cratered midlands and cratered highlands. 
Oh, 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 ah, I saw Lowlands for a sec there. Oh, ah, I missed it again. Okay, well, I don't think we're gonna get anything else. Okay, well then with this, since the other one's going to Europa, we want this one to go to Ganymede. Let me, I wanted to focus on Jupiter. So let's see if we can finagle that over here. We don't want to do an inclination change, but we can do just a straight thing. Keeps showing something there. Showing another encounter with Callisto. And then sometimes when we have another encounter with Callisto, it gives a Ganymede thing. You know what, maybe since the ascending node is here, what I do just, uh, I could do a burn here to help things out maybe. I don't know how much it'll cost. Try to get that one over there. We might as well use the remaining Delta V. If we can get two moons with this, that's better than I was expecting. But that's easing up almost all of it. Oh, that's getting even more. Uh, well, if we can do it, we can do it. Let's see. Maybe this is a bad plan. At least we have tracking solar panels. When would that encounter be? Oh, pretty quick. Just in a day. Because it's the fast part of the orbit. Okay... And... Ignition. Oh, now it says more. <laughs> Residuals, probably. Let's add more randomness to KSP. <laughs> so next time when we send something over to get that Jupiter orbit, we should also make it capable of doing that Europa-specific orbit. Oop, there it is. Okay, close encounter with Ganymede. That should be good enough. Alright. Let's do it. This will be next anyway. Still in orbit around Jupiter. Technically we could deorbit it. That would probably be the right thing to do or something. Oh, we've lost comms. Oh, that's because of Jupiter, probably. Okay, we got it back. Where is it? There it is. I remember Ganymede looking a lot grayer, but okay. So, space high over cryovolcanic ice of Ganymede. And the other space highs. I wonder why the science doesn't take electric charge. Oh, there's Midlands. Oops. Where's the comm line? Oh, the comm line will be fine through periapsis. Oh, tectonic de deformation. Just above tectonic deformation. And we also get the other scans for near Ganymede. Just above cryovolcanic ice. Ganymede's Highlands. Okay, did that. We did that too. Oh, we might have missed something there, but I think that's it for this one. And we're out of comms now. Ganymede's blocking our comms. Very directly. We're like directly blocked by Ganymede for a while. And then we get it back. Okay, well, I'm not gonna bother with this, so technically we can deorbit it. But, you know, one day it might be a comsat for us. Or probably you'll encounter a moon and be flung out. 
Let's go back to the tracking station and take care of the other one, which is going to encounter Europa. Okay, let's wait until Apoaps is here. Taking my time with these, though we probably should be building something else too. But these are important. No, oh, those are actually overlapping a little bit. Whoops. And ignition. Okay, close approach to Europa. Ideally without crashing. Alright. Hopefully that's low over Europa. Just double check that there's nothing new here. Alright, on to Europa. Getting close enough to Europa that it actually gives us a boost. We probably want to be on the opposite side of Europa to capture. But one end is, let's see, getting real close to Io. One end is still within the orbit of Io, so that's no good. Oh, I'm worried that Jupiter might be getting in the way of our comm line here. Okay, we've got comms just in time. Okay, so let me just focus on Europa here. So in order to capture... Again, this is a bad situation to try to capture in. We would not want to do it this way. But we're talking about more than 10,000 like this. The good way we could probably manage it with less than 5,000. But still, we're going to have to pack a lot. Okay, we are in Europa SOI. And there's Europa. Ridged Plains of An Europa. An Europa. Okay. The rest are just high over Europa. Okay, Chaotic Plains. I mean, if NASA was going to do it, they'd fly by the moons a hundred times to help. We could do that too. Crosscut planes, but that gets super tedious. Oh, I've missed those liniment things. Liniment, ah. Okay, we're just above though. Ah. Ah. Okay, liniments are the hard one. They're like shores. Yep. Yep. Okay. Fine. Oh, there we go. All right. High over, though. Oh, I lost comms. I don't know if I actually got it. Okay. Let me just review data. Okay. All right. This one has done its job. Our Jupiter probes were entirely successful. Back to Space Center. They could probably do another flyby of some moon, but we'll leave that be. We've done all four. Of course, Jupiter has many more moons, just not here. Okay, so r and building upgrade is still 4 million, so we don't have the money for that. But that's so that we can get the research limit to 500, uh, which is a ways off. But if we want the long-term habitation, we probably need that, because that's 800. But for now we have 1,200, so we should use it. Don't really have heavier rocketry or high efficient propulsion, mainly because I didn't put the monument rocket in. There's, there's stuff I could probably put in that would fill this up a little bit more. But let's see what we need. This is the construction ports. Those are USI thing. There's the claw. I think, yeah, where's the drill? There's the resource stuff. It's here. That's also... Uh, the drill is at five, uh, 550 and would require the unlock. Well, okay. The good solar panels need to happen. <laughs> Let's get that at least. There's CO2 scrubber, air filter, Sabatier stuff. This is good stuff for 
if we're gonna plan a trip to Mars, these will be probably good. So let's get that. The recyclers really ought to be in recycling. Uh, we'll have to think about that. Currently, they are in electronics, which, yeah, maybe not. But then, if we put it in recycling, it's too too early. Hydroponics doesn't make any sense. Short-term habitation would put it in too high a tech, so we'd have to have the unlock, which is not nice. And these big containers for USI. Not too sure about those. I really do need to make my own parts <laughs> for the habitats. More habitat parts. Like this. Anyway, with that in mind, I'll be satisfied with unlocking those two for now. But we need to rack up a lot more money. If we really want the R&D building upgrade, we probably want to either do the base contract. That'll give it to us. Base on the moon will do it. Or uh, or try to get to Mars on a flyby. That'll do it too. So yeah, it's not unreasonable to require that upgrade to the R&D building in order to get the long-term habitation. I think that's quite doable. So, so far RP2000 mostly working out. There may be some shuffling necessary, but I think it's okay. So can we do Mars missions and moon bases? Maybe I need to up the requirement for the moon base. I'll think about it. But for now, I'll wrap it up here. 